Thank you so much, Deanna. Just about anything that Deanna Williams is affiliated with turns to gold. So for Deanna to introduce me is definitely an auspicious beginning. I very much want to thank Black Star for this honor, specifically, and bear with me for naming names, my thanks to Achille, Akua, Amber, Autumn, Catherine, Heidi, Imran, Jess, Lendl, Leo, Maori, Marion, Michelle, Nihad, Nile, Nyla, Pablo, Swabreen, Sydney, Terry, and I know I'm missing some, some names in this roll call, but I, want to I wanted to say all the names. Uh, please, please do don't be confused. Woven in this evening of champagne, delicious food, gorgeous clothes, flawless maquillage, and laughter, is an organization that has created a landing space for new visions and new possibilities in this world, making Philadelphia well a Philadelphia a well-deserved international destination. That is really what we are honoring and supporting tonight. I believe firmly that the black film movement, and I am using black film in its broadest inclusive sense to encompass film and visual culture that has the best interest of all peoples of color, communities with less power defined by history, by gender, identity, by sexuality, by class. This film movement is deliberate cultural work. It has the power to help make us whole, self-determining, to offer a vision of what should be. It was this possibility of film as a way of exploring ideas, of giving us a knowledge foundation to understand and change the world that seduced me. Much of my own film work has been an obsession with history, which is very different from an, an obsession with the past. History is the understanding that makes the past usable and allows us to create futures. The, the work that I have been part of at Scribe has also been a, very much connected to a deep belief in the transformative healing and liberatory possibilities of filmmaking as a way of building community. It has been a collaboration of extraordinary instructors, all of, all of who are, whom are working artists, emerging makers from communities throughout the region, a staff, and again, I have to do another roll call, who have turned fa facilitation into a revolutionary art form, and that folks, those folks include Kira Abdur-Rahman, uh, Alexia Chororos, Charlie Rabito, Dylan Lewis, Dan Papa, Jackie Alexander, Carol Meia, Alyssa Friedan, Demita Satchel, uh, Cedra Waltron, uh, Gabby Trevino, and a board that has been uh, supportive with their counsel and resources to help shape the organization to, sur to survive in, this real, in, this, in the real world. And I also must thank the very generous funders who, who, who have believed in us. These are these past few weeks have reminded me that we are in extremely perilous times. And sometimes it's good to be on edge, for complacency can leave us off guard and confused and too, too at ease to act. Extending the lemonade from lemons metaphor, peril can also help us appreciate these times that we share together. We must remember and to, and to celebrate and understand our victories. Those of you who know me realize that I have been taking a deep dive into the works of Tony Cade Bambara recently. There's a line from The Seabirds Are Still Alive, a short story written by Tony shortly after visiting Viet the Vietnam Women's Union at the close of the Vietnam War, where she says, what can defeat greed, technological superiority, and legal lawlessness is discipline, consciousness, and unity. The people who have most affected me are people who understand that cultural production is at the center of community building and that it can be revolutionary. And the lessons I have learned from people like the two Tonys and the producer empresario Ellis Hayslip, who was the first board chair of Scribe are, one, we gain strength when we believe in each other's dreams. Two, strive to learn another language and become articulate which is so important in creating allies, and three, share knowledge. Thank you so much.